Hi, my name is Deneen Berglund, and I'm the instructor for University Studies 399, Engaging Social Change. This is a new course, and I'm really excited to be teaching it this summer, and I'm looking forward to getting to know all of you and learning about what you're learning in your volunteer work or internships. Um, this class is a chance for you to apply the University Studies goals, diversity of human experience, ethics and social responsibility, critical thinking and communication, to your experience in the real world uh, working at a volunteer placement or at an internship. It also gives you the chance to apply the goals and um, theories that you're learning in your junior cluster courses to real life experience. Um, the course will mostly happen in your own volunteer placement. You'll work five to ten hours a week at, with your community partner. And then you'll spend about two to four hours per week doing work online in our course in D2L. Our, our course in D2L will consist of doing some readings, um, some activities, and uh, discussions in a software program called VoiceThread. And then you'll do uh, a midterm um, self-evaluation and a final portfolio that will be a reflective piece that you turn in. Okay, so here we are on um, the course homepage, and you'll see on the course homepage you've got the news. This is where I'll post um, updates, so you always want to make sure that you visit the course homepage every time you open up the course and see if there's anything new to look at, um, any news. And then on the right-hand side you'll see this is just information. If you need to um, find out more about the your cluster. You can click on this uh, for cluster goals um, and also just information about um, university studies and how that works. I know a lot of you are transfer students and university studies is pretty different from the way most colleges um, do general education. So you can always look in here and also you can always ask me if you don't understand um, the way that the different parts fit together with university studies or if you have questions about advising or who to see just ask me and I'm happy to talk to you about those. Um, okay, so the most important place on this um, course homepage is course content. That's where all the stuff for our course exists. So you want to um, go to the table of contents <clears throat> And the first thing you'll see is Welcome to University Studies uh, module. And I want you, the first week of class, I want you to carefully read through the course syllabus. Um, this is a discussion that you can, if you have a question about the course and you want to, it's, it's in effect like raising your hand in class. So you post your question there and anybody in the class can try to answer the question. Um, information about how to do voice thread discussions, information about our weekly journals. You'll be turning in a, a short written journal every week into the Dropbox and I'll be giving you feedback on those every week. The student toolkit, which is both basically it just links to our course blog that gives you information about how to find a good uh, internship, um, how to talk to people at your community partner, things like that. And then um, a link to voice thread discussions. So that you can look at those. And then week one, you'll start module one. So you'll see that the course is broken up into, in course content, 10 modules, one module for each week. So week one, I want you to just open up module one and everything you need for that week will be linked in module one. So it'll tell you about what we're doing that week. It'll tell you when things are due that week. We'll give you links to whatever readings or videos we're looking at. It'll tell you how to do the activity that's due that week if there is one. It'll give you a link to VoiceThread. And it'll give you links to the Dropbox to turn in your journals and other assignments that are due. So everything you need is there in course content. Um, other ways to get to things also happen on this course navigation bar. So say you want to just go directly to that discussion um, group that I told you about for raising your hand. You could go up to activities and when you click on this arrow you see this drop down menu. 
that takes you directly to some of the tools in D2L. So if you wanted to just go straight to the Dropbox rather than accessing it through one of these modules, you could click on Dropbox. Same with discussions. If you wanted to get to that one discussion I told you about, which is right here, raise your hand, help each other out, um, you could get the, straight there from the activities. Same with the Dropbox. Say you want to check the, the Dropbox because you want to review one of the journals that you wrote. You could go straight to the Dropbox and then open that Dropbox folder. If you want to email somebody, you go up to People. Click on People. Click on Class List. And this will give you the, um, the list of people who are in our course. This is a, a sandbox course, so you can't see everybody who's here yet. But if this were our real course, you'd open it up. And you'd see, for one thing, you'd see that I'm currently in D2L, but also if you wanted to send me an email, you would just click on my name and it would open up uh, an email message box. So that's how you email people in the course. And then, of course, you can also check your grades from here. Um, there's no grades right now, but that's how you would find them um, once they've been posted. And the help button. I think this just takes you outside to OIT. Yeah, so this has information about D2L and tutorials you can take. Um, you can always ask me if you're having trouble with D2L. I am not a D2L expert per se, but um, I can certainly get you to the people who can answer your questions. So, but again, the most important thing is for you to use course content. And the way you navigate is through this table of contents. You just open whichever module you want to look at, open it up, click on it, that opens it up. One other thing I want to show you, um, like I said, if you click on these linked things, they're going to take you to the thing that they are referencing. So this will take you out to a form, a Google form, that you need to fill out. Um, so I want to show you... VoiceThread. So VoiceThread is an external learning tool. It's a discussion tool. And I'm using it for the first time. So there may be a few bumps, but we'll figure it out together. Um, the cool thing about VoiceThread is it allows us to record our voices and our faces. Um, okay. Oop. So test video. So that was somebody doing a test video on this. So the way it works is you open it up and there's this document here that gives prompts for what we'll be talking about. They won't usually be quite this busy, but this is the first one. So I put a lot of detail into it. Um, and then at the bottom, you'll see that there's these discussion prompts. Um, so I want you to um, answer these questions by recording a video of yourself. So um, there, I'll, I'll give you, there's another tutorial that goes more in depth with VoiceThread. But as you can see, um, this person recorded a test message. And what happens is you see all the people who've recorded a test uh, message, and you can click on them and listen to what they've said. You do have the option of just recording your voice or of doing a text um, comment. And those are fine too. My preference is that we use video because I think it helps us get to know each other better. But sometimes you just can't, if you don't have a video, a camera on your, um, on your computer or you, you're sick and you don't want people to see how you look that day, or you want to include a hyperlink or something in your comment, um, in those cases you'd want to um, write. Uh, maybe you're in a busy coffee shop, and in those cases, you can post a written com comment. So that's basically the course in a nutshell. Um, you should always feel free to ask me questions if you can't figure out where something is or how to do something. I'm happy to help you with that. Um, it always looks scarier than it really is. Um, our course is very regimented. We follow a the same pattern and rhythm every week. Um, so after a, a couple of weeks, you'll have it down pat. Um, so I look forward to working with you this term. See you in cyberspace.